Lee Harder, T and D, with you here on this Tuesday, and uh, some news of the day: an Orangeburg man in the 2019 shooting incident at the Regional Medical Center has received a 14-year prison sentence. News of celebration regarding South Carolina State: the Parade of Champions will be held at 3 p.m. Sunday. It's actually going to be a parade. It's going to begin at the former All-Star Bowling Lanes and finish at um, O.C. Dawson Bulldog Stadium, where it is going to be a, a ceremony. And again, this is to celebrate uh, not only the uh, national HBC National Championship, but other aspects of Bulldog athletics. You're going to read today about more schools going virtual as the coronavirus continues to show increasing numbers. In fact, in our region, uh, the latest number was 943 new cases. As you know by now, if you're certainly interested, uh, Georgia won the national championship in football by defeating Alabama on Monday night. The Bulldogs, uh, this is their first national championship uh, in 41 years, and it uh, certainly is prompting a lot of celebration uh, in the Peach State. Speaking of other Bulldogs, three SC State Bulldog football players are going to be going to the HBCU um, NFL Combine. And speaking of number one teams, uh, the South Carolina women Gamecocks are continue to be ranked number one in the nation in college basketball. Okay, we're going to be bringing you some news to uh, online and in print about the uh, possibility of some upcoming um, wintry weather in Orangeburg. Cold enough today, but we may be looking at some wintry mix or snow or something maybe toward the weekend. Okay, we'll keep you updated. Have a good day.